I grew up in Cavity County and mainly Sonoy, and I watched Sonoy grow the way it did from you know, me being five years old to what it is now. And when we bought the house that we're in now in Moreland and renovated it, um, it was it was just one of those things where I see that the town of Moreland is growing, and you know I I feel like me being young and you know wanting to see growth that you know why not give it a shot and hopefully give the town the right growth that the people want. You know, in the profession I'm in, it's trying to please everyone. And and sometimes, you know, you may please a majority, but there's still some people who aren't going to agree with you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's the hardest part of any job nowadays is trying to please everyone, which you can't. Me personally, I think it would be the growth because mm -hmm. sometimes a lot of small towns, they just die. And that's not something now being you know, a member of a town of Moreland, it's one of those things where you want to, you want to see growth because you don't want to see the small city die. You know, I've, I've had family that grew up kind of Northeast Georgia and a lot of those cities, there's nothing there anymore because they were just small towns. And, oh, okay. and when you don't grow, you typically die. And I don't want to see that, especially with my daughter's going to grow up there and hopefully eventually raise a family there as well. You know, I, I want to set the precedence for them. The the growth and everything. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you want to bring in like small businesses and everything. Cause you know, right now we have um, the last the fourth Friday of every month, we have a food truck Friday just to try to get people into the town and getting to know them. Um, working on renovating the mill i mean there's been some renovations to it i mean it's very it's it's a historical place i mean we have the park for the kids and you also have the elementary school right there in the city and it or the town and you just you want to be able to see the kids that are growing up there to grow up with the town and you look at a lot of like older buildings and me personally when we renovated our house, the original house was built late 1800s, early 1900s. We couldn't just tear that down because the bones were still good. And I feel mm -hmm. like a lot of things in Moreland, the bones are still good. They just need to be revamped a little bit. The community itself. I mean, there's, there's so many people just in that small town that care so much about that small town that they they want it to live on. And that's, you know, when we have, I know I said this earlier, when, when we have our food truck Fridays, it's busy. There's people everywhere. They may not all be from the town of Moreland, but there's a majority, like you see neighbors and you see people that come up and they talk to you and interact with you and, you know, my oldest, she goes to Moreland Elementary and she sees her friends that are there and they are able to play. So, I mean, just the whole community itself, it's very welcoming and open to just everyone, in my opinion. You know, I am young. I mean, that's, it's not saying a lot nowadays, but, uh, you know, I feel like I have a lot of energy and I want to see the growth, but then you also being from at the time, the small town of Sonoy, watching it grow. It's just, it's one of those things that you, you want to see every small town in this, in the state, especially Cowboy County grow and not, you know, and that's, that's something as me as a strength is I, I want to take the bones and just renovate. I'd really like the idea of bringing more, not more, but something more attractive to kids because, you know, it's it's one of those things where 
yes, we have the small park, but you get 15, 20 kids on a food truck Friday, you know, it's, it's hard. But if we were to able to renovate, you know, add on to the park or maybe add something a little newer or, or even, you know, more walking paths or something like that to where we can have that community, you know, walking down a sidewalk saying hey to your neighbor, having a chat and just stuff like that. Just mainly just for the kids and then just trying other projects to bring the community a whole lot closer. I mean, with with my job, it, it makes it when you when you talk to people, I mean that's one thing I learned very on in, in my career was you have to learn to talk to people and you have to treat and as someone very smart once told me, if you talk to everyone like you would talk to your mother, you, you'll go a long way in life. And you know, that's that's one of those things that I took to heart very young in my career was even though people may not agree a hundred percent with you, if you talk to them like a human being, you know, sometimes they'll take what you have to say better than if you were just per se a jerk to them. Well, as as a deputy, I'm actually assigned in the school, so I'm a school resource officer. Oh, okay. So I, I deal with a lot of families. Uh-huh. And so that, you know, when I see Moreland and being there, how long have we lived there since 20, I think 2020, toward the end of COVID, when we moved there, you know, we knew very little people. Well, now that... We've been there, we've learned, we've seen more people, we've gotten to know people. And that's one thing I take from being in the school setting at my job is not only am I trying to build relation, the um, community cop relationship, I'm also just trying to build a personal relationship with almost everyone I can. Because in, in a situation, if they're going through something, especially a child, I want them to be able to come talk to me. And then as a council member, if there's something going on in the town that you feel like needs to be addressed, I want you to have that ability to come talk to me. Well, I'm just, I'm young. I mean, I'm, I'm full of energy and that's, that's one thing that I, I want to see this town grow, but I want to the, the right growth, not bringing in big corporations or anything like that. My dad's a business owner, and I've always grew up loving the small businesses, and that's why I love downtown Noonan is you have all these businesses. You have, you know, meet and greet. You have Carvela's, who is now branching off, and you have Fabiano's. I I know I'm not supposed to give a shout-out, but I love love downtown Noonan because it's just you have that community feel, especially the way they do things, and I want to take things – from the town that I grew up in and also the town that I visited a lot growing up and seeing the growth here as well. I want to see that for my town as well.